In this video, we will discuss the definition of cardinality. Cardinality is a term we use to describe the size of a set, more precisely, the number of elements a set contains. Note that the empty set, which contains zero elements, has cardinality zero. For small sets, we can usually just count the number of elements by hand. The set containing the elements 3, 5, and 9 has cardinality 3, since there are 3 elements. Similarly, the set containing the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 has cardinality 5, since this set contains 5 elements. We often use the pound sign to abbreviate the word cardinality. So, for the two sets above, we could write the following which would be read as the cardinality of the set containing the elements 3, 5, and 9 equals 3, and the cardinality of the set containing the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 is equal to 5. There are two important remarks to make about cardinality. The first remark is that two sets A and B have the same cardinality if there exists an invertible function f from A to B. In other words, two sets A and B have the same cardinality if we can map every element in A to a unique image in B, and we can map every element in B to its unique preimage in A. The second remark concerns the cardinality of the set Z mod n, where n is a natural number. For any natural number n, the cardinality of the set Z mod n is equal to n itself. Using this information, we say that any set A has the cardinality of n if and only if there exists an invertible function f from the set A to the set z mod n. We will discuss this further in a later video, but for now it is important to provide an introduction. On this slide, we present various sets and their associated cardinalities. Recall that the set blackboard A is the set containing the character space and the lowercase 26 letters of the alphabet. Since this set contains 27 elements, the cardinality of blackboard A is 27. The set Z mod N contains all of the integers starting at 0 up to N minus 1. There are N elements in this set, so the cardinality of Z mod N is N. The set Zn without 0, or Zn cross, contains all of the integers starting at 1 up to and including n minus 1. There are n minus 1 elements in this set, so the cardinality of Zn cross is n minus 1. We will leave it to you to verify that the cardinality of the last four sets are 50, 49, 3, and 8, respectively. 